yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of the, the guys that we really think are great defensive tackles, and the yeah. list is definitely shorter. Um, you know, when, when we're reading the scouting report and getting ready to play somebody, it seems like everybody's got a great defensive end that's made right. Pro Bowls. But inside, it's much more rare to see a team that has an all-pro defensive tackle. I think when you have a guy in the middle, it's a little bit easier to eliminate him because you get so many natural double teams just because of how he lines up. And if you have a defensive end, you can. it's, it's kind of hard to get a double team unless you leave a back end or a, a tight end. Um, but with that being said, I think uh, there's probably fewer dominant defensive tackles than there yeah. is dominant defensive ends. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's easier to be skinny and a badass than it is to be fat and a badass. But um, I, I, I think maybe this is just a guess because I haven't really thought deeply about it. But you see a lot of guys with a lot of talent inside, but a lot of times they don't have the motor that they quite need to. They're a little bit lazy. I mean, there's plenty of top 10 picks that were defensive tackles, nose guards, that had all the talent, but just didn't have the desire or the work ethic. Um, but maybe as a skinnier guy, as a defensive end, they're a little bit smaller. It's a little bit easier for them to have a good motor and a work ethic where they can be dominant on every play. Uh, and it's more rare to be a big guy who's got a great motor, who, who plays well on every down.